Hello, I'm Fluffy Cappy here. Before we begin, don't forget to comment, leave a like, and hit the subscribe button with your tongue. Huge disclaimer, Five Nights at Freddy's belongs to Scott Coffin. I simply reimagined his characters into my own design, which I call a cartoon anime because I am very good with, with coming up with names. <laughs> Not really. Sometimes. I, I have my moment. I have my moment. So let us begin with, of course, Phoebe Wilson. Phoebe Wilson, who is based off, of course, of Susan Walton, who is the spirit of Chica. Similarly, of course, Phoebe is the spirit of Toy Chica. Now, the very interesting fact about Phoebe is her outfit. It's revealing at best. It reveals her shoulder, it reveals her belly, it reveals her legs. Now, for those of you who don't know, don't know, I don't like it when a character reveals too much skin. I don't like it. I just don't. It just, just something about it just makes me like, be like, be careful where you go, okay? Just be careful where you go, wherever you go. You always have to like watch out for grass. You have to, you're, you're more vulnerable in getting a scratch on your elbow when you have this kind of clothing than if you have clothing that is a lot longer, you know? You're more vulnerable is what I'm trying to say. So please, girl, just just try to cover yourself a little bit more. But in the end, I do love her design. I especially love her shirt, which says SHINE. By the way, it's short for SUNSHINE. I thought that was really adorable, and I love how her blonde hair came out, which is, of course, I believe, three very different colors. And yes, it is technically blonde with that's a little bit, I guess, bleached. And creating Toy Chica was interesting since I basically copied off of Toy Bonnie and gave her some curves, gave her the chicken legs, gave her a beak, recolored her entire design. Making her bib was probably one of the toughest things to do because of the, you know, of the wordings and everything and all the like the little itty bitty designs that I had to do. Honestly, that takes forever. Those like little itty bitty designs. Even though I simplify designs, there's always something else to do. On to, of course, James Crossfire, who is the spirit of the puppet. Now, James Crossfire, I played around with his hair color with ranging of wild reds. I don't know why. I just I just imagined him as a redhead. And, of course, he does have a gradation scale gray shirt, which I eventually blurred it so that way you couldn't distinguish the, the, the grays, the various of grays, which I loved in the end. His hairstyle is based off of more modern uh, hairstyles, which is like kind of like you know those hairstyles that are kind of like shaved in the back and like the top part of their of a of a guy's head is just poofy. Yeah, that's kind of what I based it off. And when I came to drawing puppet, boy oh boy was he a pain in the butt. I said it. I said the word. I'm not taking it back. Maybe eventually. Either way, Puppet was by far one of the tougher animatronics to make because of his waist and just just his waist in general. It was that was really hard to make. On top of all that, his mask was also very difficult to make. Everything else, pretty fine, pretty fine. Finish finishing in and in about it. I I believe it took me two hours to make him, if I remember correctly. But yeah. I really enjoy how Puppet came out because of his eyes, because of the little line streaks, because of his lips, because of his rose and cheeks and everything. In the end, even though Puppet was a pain in the tushy, he came out looking like a puppet and creepy. Of course, unlike most characters, I didn't give him fingers because I, I just wanted to. Honestly, I just wanted to because he just looked better with fingers. So yeah, that there is, of course, Puppet. Yeah, I, actually not thinking about it, he probably wouldn't take me too long if I got him the waist just right. So on to, of course, Gemini. When you think of a ghost, what's the first thing that you think of? Something spooky, something scary. Well, I thought of an adorable little girl whose hairstyle is based off of Harley Quinn, who is a supervillain, which makes sense since Gemini does work for the Cryptic Order, which is basically the League of Evil. I imagined her in a pajama outfit because I thought she died in this, in a pajama, maybe she died in a hospital, I don't know. Uh, at least I was the back, that's the backstory I gave her. I don't want to go into too much detail because that's not what this is about. 
I do remember having a ton of fun of doing it, especially with her cat-like eyes. There's just something about those eyes I absolutely adore. And not to mention, those bunny slippers! Oh my god, they're so adorable! I just, I want them. I want them in real life. I want them in the same color, of course, not two opposing colors. The reason I chose gray and, I guess, gold in this case was... Well, I, I, I just thought that it was a fun way to play around with colors, you know. I was just playing around with colors and I ended up, you know what, let's just make this go half and half. See see where it goes from there. And a, and a good thing that I kept it, too. Very good thing, because I love how she came out in the end. Of course, Gemini has a unique ability to split herself into two, known as Dove and Finch. Dove being, of course, the gray one and Finch being the gold one. And there you go. Hopefully you guys like this little, of course, cat reveals. And if you guys want me to reveal anything, and I mean like just like react to videos or me reacting to something or, you know, general reaction stuff. I, I don't know what to say here because I'm really nervous. This is the first time we've, we, we're doing this. Are, are you sure? This is, this is okay? Okay. Have a nice day!